Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid. Where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Yetisa. Lost my shoe on the ferris wheel at the state fair and hopped on one foot to a food cart where I demanded that my father buy me funnel cake then demanded that he carry me piggyback to the car while I ate it, getting powdered sugar all over his hair in the process. But what do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit where show1lj posted this. Employers of reddit, what is the most unique slash outrageous thing someone has put on a resume? Last job, plumber. Reason for leaving. Couldn't plumb. Just leave that off next time. I wasn't doing the hiring, but was given some say over the process. There was a guy that just sent in an 8.5 by 11 inch photo of him standing next to a limousine. No explanation given. Under hobbies and interests, simulating earthquake by shaking table. This is fucking hilarious. Assuming the rest of his CV was up to scratch, I would undoubtedly call this person in. I can do 75 push-ups in a row. Because, you know, a well-formed upper body is integral to IT. He got the job. A dude included his personal website URL, which had rantings about beating women and the elderly. Did not hire. Under skills, calculator on site. When I asked him to elaborate on that, he looked confused. I asked him if he meant that he was really good at mental math, like 287 times 62 divided by 9 or something. And he just looked at me the way a cow looks at an oncoming train and said, I don't know, my mum put that. He didn't get the job. My uncle was the employer, but I'll say it anyways. Essentially, the guy had an entire section devoted to gaming achievements. Where a normal person might have put a volunteer experience or something of that nature, he had gaming achievements. Everything from World of Warcraft Guild to Tetris high scores. My uncle photocopied and saved the resume and showed it to me. I wouldn't have believed him otherwise. I was handed a CV which said, One of the top UK's top mountaineers, praise my stamina. You're hired. <laughs> Big titted blonde insert domain.com. Okay, have an outrageous and weird email address. Just don't use that one when you're applying for jobs. I also had someone upload a resume to our HRIS database. When I opened the file, it was just a camera phone self shot of him staring into his bathroom mirror. <laughs> Why, yes, Mr. Unemployment Commission man, I did apply for a job this week. I honestly don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have plenty of experience. I had a girl this dungeon master under management experience. Luckily for her, I do think that counts as a leadership quality. Dungeon master like D&D &D or like s and &M. I assume D&D, &D, but now that you mention it, either is possible. Either way, she's clearly a leader of men. My favourite was, I enjoy doing repetitive things like filing and photocopying. <laughs> Do you now? <laughs> I enjoy day-to-day -day administration and I'm an adept stapler handler. I rarely, if ever, make coffee without asking others to. You're both hired. I was interviewing lifeguards and one had an interesting position under their job experience section. Hyman Checker on Australian sheep farm. When I asked him about it, he said he just wanted to see if people actually read his resume. He got the job called in sick too many times and was let go. Yeah, he pulled an asshole move on his CV. What did you expect? At a Fortune 10 corporation had an applicant list sarcasm as a hobby slash skill slash interest. He got the job. One of the best employees I've ever had. I used to manage a retail store and we used to get very few resumes. When we did though, they were ridiculous. I received one that was five pages long once. The reason why it was that long was because when she put down that she worked at CeCe's Pizza as a pizza maker, she listed each step of making a pizza as a separate job duty. 
CC's Pizza, Pizza Maker, put crust on pizza plate, spread sauce on crust, add cheese to sauce, add toppings if ordered. It was hilarious. I wish I still had a copy. The girl essentially included a recipe in her resume. An applicant for an internship in my office concluded his cover letter with, and that's why I would make a great addition to the Burger King family. Another applicant didn't include any contact information other than a Twitter account. I don't care how qualified you are. I'm not going to at you on Twitter to say you're hired. During a job interview for a cruise company, the guy asked me what my dream job was. In a blind panic of me trying to be clever and being unable to think of anything to say, I just blurted out, Playboy magazine photographer. Got the job though. Not something that was on a resume, but on two separate occasions, people have come into my office, handed the receptionist the resumes and asked for her to make a copy because it was their last one. Seriously, people, this is not okay. You're not hired. Had someone put, I always staple at exactly a 45 degree angle. You're hired. First thing on this guy's job history was world class amigo. He couldn't defend the claim and did not get the job. I put out an ad on Craigslist and Monster. I was looking for a part time camera operator and someone who could occasionally flip a switch for me in the video booth. Parties interested were asked to submit resume and references for consideration. I got many, but the one that stood out to me was an email that simply said, yeah, I could do this, in lieu of an actual resume. I didn't hire them, but that's a low bar for the time being for me. At the first local television station that I worked at, there was a 17 year old kid who applied for a camera operator job and had multiple pages on his resume listing all the DVD commentaries that he'd listened to. Cute. At a hobby shop I used to work at, some earnest looking young guy stopped in one day and dropped off a resume. It was a fairly hot day in the summer and he was covered in sweat. He had a backpack and a big stack of resumes. It appeared he had been walking all over town dropping off resumes all day. We weren't hiring anyone, but out of idle curiosity, I glanced over his resume. It was just normal general stuff. Nothing stood out. Just your standard resume of someone fresh out of high school with very little experience. But then I realised his resume had absolutely no contact information. I couldn't interview him even if I wanted to. His name wasn't even on it. That poor bastard had been walking all over town in the beating sun all day dropping off useless resumes. I had a guy apply for a position at my work and on his application in the sex box he put yes please. One guy claimed to be an office ninja. The opening line was, are you tired of listless lazybouts stanking up the joint? Then it's time to consider the office ninja. The office ninja brings a decidedly papal smell to the professional work environment among many other benefits. I would have been able to hire him but he listed the shadows as a primary reference with no contact info so there was no way to contact them since my office was well lit. Even after the passing of many years I will still sometimes say office ninja three times in a row, but he never responds to my callbacks. <laughs> Have you ever put something fun on your resume? Let me know in the comments. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who lost their shoe and got sugar in their dad's hair? It was... A drunk. It was my 21st birthday and my dad was 53. The man is a saint. Did you guess right? Let me know in the comments. I got it wrong. I couldn't imagine that being anything but a kid. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.